Welcome to the channel. I am Charlie from Sanu Motors. Today I have a BMW 1 Series 2019 model M Sport. I am going to show you how to change front brake pads. If you still not subscribe our channel, please do it now. Also press bell icon then you can get our new videos. If you have any question, comments, please mention below. I will come back to you as soon as possible stay with me take a good idea after that i'm pretty sure you can do your own this job this vehicle need a low profile jack you can see as it is the black color jack a little bit higher does mean high profile yellow color one low profile basically if you're going to work with the BEMs, especially you need low profile jack. I'm going to use it. You know. Straight underneath here, jacking point. There is a black color bits underneath. I'm going to jack up the car. Next step, going to remove wheel nut. If you don't have a gun, you can use it like that breaker bar. I'm going to use the gun. This wheel look like to me a little bit seize up. That's one little common problem for the BMs. If you have a rubber hammer like this, you can hammer it inside tire wall like that and remove the tire. My hammer not strong enough then because of that, I'm using my foot to remove the tire like this. When you do carefully do it. You can see as it is all around this area rusty and inside the tire hole also same thing when you're going to reinstall the tire make sure clean it that area apply copper grease i need to press these pins before remove the brake pad do it very gently otherwise your caliper paint might be damaged I'm going to use plier and remove holding pins this is the top pin need to remove the bottom one also wiggle and pull it will come Now need to press caliper piston in. I am using flat screwdriver. This caliper has four piston. Normally standard car has a one piston. Because of M Sport model, 
have a four piston two piston for the front side another two piston for the back side because of that i need to do side by side i'm going to remove this side first i'm going to remove retention spring this one but it's stuck edge of other brake pad because brake pad gone for last moment it's need to sit on like this this is the brake pad wear sensor However, when you're going to install the brake pad, you need to go side by side. This connector go inside that box. There is a two clips there, tabs there. You can open the box and remove the air sensor from connector. You need to press that tab and pull then it will disconnect from the connector you can see as it is a lot of pad dust build up that area we need to clean that area nicely otherwise it's ending with seize up brake pad or uneven brake pad wearing I'm going to use it a big brand black one that's mean the good quality the I'm recommended this one for the like this high performance cars and it's come with the two-year warranty and 30,000 mileage if you can buy it like this part I'm recommended using like this part it's very good for the BM I'm going to compare old pad and new pad make sure identically visually same size You can see as it is, it's very, very worn, the old one. See the new one ever. Thickness. This is the pad thickness. Old one doesn't have a pad like this. It's very close to the metal. When you install like this pad, you don't want to use copper grease for the this pad. install one side then after that i'm going to press in other side caliper using old pad leave it like that using screwdriver and press in two pistons it's fully in now you can see as it is it's all way in now I'm going to clean break dust around that area don't use copper grease for the this job normally we are using copper grease for the standard brake but like this high performance brake, we don't want to use copper grease. Install pad. This is the brake pad VR sensor. I'm going to compare with the old one. exactly 
right length right connectors right pins then i'm going to install this way a sensor when you're going to reinstall all pins retention clips make sure clean properly need to clip into the brake pad make sure all way in install slide pin going to reinstall top pin Right, both pin in nicely. Now I am going to install brake pad via sensor through the connectors. clip in close the junction box just clean surround that area make it nice as I mentioned early we need to clean this area you can see as it is build up corrosion and rust that area this is inside the tire need to clean this area also well going to apply copper grease around that area make it easy to next time when we're going to remove the tire reinstall tire lower the jack
this is the way we need to do front brake pad once you do the brake pad you need to go inside the car make sure pump 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 brake pedal until it's getting up next step once you do the brake pad you need to reset with the computer i'm going to show you how to reset from computer depend on your computer but uh, this is snap on computer i'm going to step by step what the computer say to me i had to follow the whole instruction i'll show you step by step how to do it but if you're using another brand follow instruction what the computer say to you then end of the day you will find first i'm going to do the ignition on you can see all light on now ignition on then i'm going to follow instructions select vehicle press ok in here say automatic id press yes continue need to go to the this is uh, f2021 series press yes 1.6 diesel okay need to go to the service interval reset service interval reset press yes collecting data you can see as it is front brake pad 0% right i'll reset from the computer you can see as it is value change front brake pad 100% once you done the brake pad make sure you need to follow the this step if you don't have a computer you can buy cheaper computer from online or you can ask your local garage or someone have a scan tool like this you can ask their help and they can reset behalf of you if you not do this step your onboard computer still saying you need to change brake pad once you do it this step all fine i'll show you beginning you remember onboard message say you need to change the brake pad now while well done it then i'm going to start the car no message at the dashboard we'll see what the onboard computer going to say press menu go to the my vehicle little bit scroll down vehicle status you need to operate with this button vehicle status then i had to find the this vehicle icon go to the that side scroll down vehicle status now you can see as it is rear brake pad okay vehicle inspection engine brake fluid front brake pad okay early you remember it saying need to change front brake pad now it will say okay that's mean all done it nicely you already know how to do front passenger side brake pad front driver side door so the same way you have to follow no any changes thanks for watching i am charlie from sanu motors if you have any question comments please mention below i'll come back to you as soon as possible also don't forget to subscribe us thank you see you with another video